From an unknown idea a few years ago to a buzzword, the co-working movement is spreading rapidly around the world and changing the way people are working and developing new businesses. Uh, well, here in the nation's capital, Hero Hub is offering co-working office space to women entrepreneurs. Africa 54's Paul Diho has our report. Julia Westfall is the CEO of Hero Hub DC, a co-working space in the Washington DC area, where she works to cultivate an ecosystem that supports budding women entrepreneurs as they launch small businesses, collaborate in a professional, productive and spa-like environment. We're a female-focused co-working space. We provide professional meeting and workspace for women who primarily work from home and are looking for a professional place to meet their clients and um, to work and to collaborate with other women. Here at Hera Hub, new businesses have been spurred, funding secured, and lifelong relationships built. We have a really great variety of women. We have uh, lawyers that work out of our office here. We have people with marketing companies, we have writers, uh, several best-selling authors, we have um, people that are um, have nonprofits and support nonprofits, we have business coaches and personal coaches and parent coaches, so it's a really large variety. Westfall says her vision is to support more women in their launch and growth of their businesses. Julia Westfall has spent nearly 25 years working with small businesses, helping them with their bookkeeping and cash flow management. She says the hub is not a one-size-fits-all co-working community. We're interested in finding women that are looking for support for themselves, that are excited and interesting, interested in interacting with other um, like-minded women. Several other companies are benefiting from Hera Hub, including Yantra Ventures, a platform that is investing in infrastructure energy and power to accelerate economic productivity in sub-Saharan Africa. The managing partner of Yantra Ventures, Raja, explains the firm's objectives. We recognize this is a problem of um, lack of infrastructure and so we're trying to link private capital with public sector demand for infrastructure on the continent. Our focus is infrastructure around economic growth. Mm -hmm. So investments in, uh, let's say, um, power, energy, uh, and any infrastructure that supports a value chain. Another entrepreneur taking advantage of the co-working space is Lisa Odanahu Lindsay, founder of the social enterprise that she inspires her an online and mobile media platform that shares stories about women entrepreneurs in emerging African markets. interview women from all over sub-Saharan Africa and I write um, their stories up about their businesses and how they got started, the obstacles that they faced, mm -hmm. roadblocks, how they overcame them and resources that they've used. Mm -hmm. And then I post the story on my website and I do a lot of social media promotion of the women and their businesses mm. and the main goal is to uh, offer inspiration to other especially younger women out there. According to analysts in emerging markets although 8 to 10 million small and medium sized enterprises are owned by women at least 30 percent of the women are self-employed in the informal sector. In sub-Saharan Africa that figure is above 70 percent. Lindsay's mission is to support the growth of female-owned, small and growing businesses in Africa. She also plans to open a Hera Hub franchise in Namibia. Paul Ndiho, VOA News, Washington.